Hi, this is Joe, and today I'll be reviewing the Slim Fit Synthetic Leather Case by Anker. It says here it's for the iPad Mini 2. I have an iPad Mini 1. Um, and you, you'll you have to read other users' reviews to see if it fits with the iPad uh, Mini with Retina. Um, they are a little bit thicker, um, so before you uh, purchase this for a Retina, I would definitely read other user reviews. I don't have a Retina, so I'm not able to test it, and I can't comment on it. Um, if you note this uh, in the back, it shows some other products that uh, Anker makes. Now let's get this case out of the box. Again, right off the bat, as soon as I touch this, this is real synthetic. This is like the most synthetic leather I've ever come across. Um, there's a little silica gel packet in here, and there's some returns and exchanges from Anker. So let's get rid of that. This is, let's open the back here. Uh, they want us to join the Anker community. When I say this is the most synthetic leather I have ever felt, I am not kidding, folks. This is, it, it, I mean, it feels just like leather. Um, I would have a hard time uh, distinguishing this from a real leather product. And... For someone who doesn't know better or is not familiar with this case, I, I think there's going to be a lot of people fooled that think that's, that this is a leather case when in fact it's not. Um, it's that good. Um, opening it up, pop this out. Comes with a real nice hardened gray plastic um, case. Uh, case to hold the iPad. Let's pop it in. Wow, that was easy. It's already popped in. And let's see how it holds. That iPad is not going to accidentally pop out. And the reason it's not going to pop out is because there's a real nice lip. Let's pop the iPad out. That was pretty easy. Um, that's going to make transferring it from case to case, or if you just want to pop it out and use it in your hands without the case, that's going to make it real easy. If you look around, one of the nice things that iPad, uh, Apple did with this iPad Mini is they put a real nice lip around the outside that bends down. And when, uh, when you put this case in here, it snaps. I don't know if, let's see if you can see that again. Right there, it comes down, that side fits in, push that in, push that in, it snaps right into place. So this iPad is not coming out, so you don't need to worry about that. I know a lot of folks worry about that when they see these cases. Some of them like the cases that actually come over here, but you got to be careful because they might, they might block the camera, they might block the home button. Um, I don't like those types of cases. I like the ones that snap in like this. Um, again, it's got a really funky... Um, crazy, uh, almost, uh, almost like a fractals pattern here, which is pretty neat. It's uh, really soft to the touch, so that's not going to scratch your screen. And wow, this is slim. If you look at that, that's it right there. Um, there is not a lot of bulk. There is, you're going to have the bulk here to hold the case, and then there's this little slim, slim case. So coming on here, you see you got... One of the things about this is it's magnetic, so you're not going to have to worry about the front case opening up. It's going to be sticking very nicely, which is exactly what you want. And the other thing which you want is when you open this, you want the device to sleep and wake, which is exactly what it's doing. So... Um, this is a really nice case. Don't really, uh, again, there's not a lot of frills to it. It's just a no-nonsense, uh, awesome case. Um, one of the things I do want to point out about this case, which uh, I think Anker does a really good job about pointing on their website, is look at the different viewing angles you can create. You can get anywhere all the way down there. You know, maybe not, maybe not all the way to the edge. But you can get something like that. Let me turn this to the side so you can really see what this guy does. All right, so it's going to slide a little bit too much like that. You know what? But this 
this is not a bad thing. So if you want to, let's say if you want to come here, actually this is a good thing because look what happens when you come here. You can type on it really easily. So that's actually going to be a great feature about this because it's at a nice little angle you can see uh, for typing. So let's go to the other angles which we can go to. So again it's going to have for there it's going to stick and it, it isn't going to move. So you can't once you get all the way out to there, yeah, it's going to fall down. Again, this is a nice orientation for typing uh, because it does have that little tilt right there uh, that built into it. But what you want to do is you want to keep it somewhere, say right about there, um, and then it's not going to move on you. And look at all these different angles you can get. You can get right there. Oh, it's got to stick. Right it's about about a third of the way up, you need it before it starts sticking. Other than that, it's going to fall out forward. So just be aware of that. But look at all these different angles. You can get it almost to where it's vertical. Once I go all the way up, it's going to fall forward. But you can look at that. That's almost 90 degrees, and it's still staying. And one of the things I like about it is you can tap on the screen. All right, there it goes. Okay. So don't put it that far forward. I mean, it was almost 90 degrees to Anker's credit to be able to get this to, to stick. But let's say you give it a little bit more of an angle. Um, you can tap on the screen. It is not going to... It's not going to fall over like some uh, Apple Smart cases where they have that little three, uh, that little triangular fold around design. Guess what happens when you start tapping on your iPad, folks? Right up, especially up top, it's going to go boom. So you're not going to have that problem with this. So um, it does this very nicely. So you don't, you're not locked into one position, two positions, or three. You're locked into an infinite amount of positions. It does hold. You're able to tap on it. It's a really nice design. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fall over on you. Um, you can tap at the bottom. You can tap at the top. That's that's just that's just a great product. Um, don't know what else to say about that. The leather. The, the probably the best feature about this case is the synthetic leather. Uh, I don't think I've ever raved about synthetic leather uh, as much as I, I've raved in this review. But uh, it is it is buttery soft. Um, they got it spot on. It's even dimpled just like leather. Um, another feature about this case, which I really like, is that it's waterproof. Um, it's because it's synthetic leather, it's inexpensive. I mean, I would expect a case like this to cost 60, 60 bucks, 50, 50 to 75 dollars, somewhere in that range if this was leather. Now, obviously, it's not leather and it costs a whole lot less than that. So save your money, get this case. You're gonna, this case is gonna do everything you want and more. Uh, again, it's super flexible. Your iPad's not going to pop out. Um, you can use it to type. Uh, you can use it to view movies. Um, you have clear access to all your buttons. Um, camera spots right on right on, on on point. You got plenty of access to your ports at the bottom. Great case, folks. Uh, really happy to be able to review this for Anker. Uh, it's a solid product. I got no problem giving this five stars. Uh, I'd probably give it six if I could. Thanks.